Right, Dave Torpy, a very big welcome to Woking Football Club. Thank You've you. scored uh, plenty of goals against us over the years, and I've witnessed and photographed some of them. So it's good to see you in a Woking top, and hopefully we're going to get some goals for us for a change. Yeah, hopefully so. Um, that's what I'm here to do, sort of get some games, get some sort of minutes in. Um, yeah, hopefully score a few, and yeah, hopefully sort of help Woking to sort of get back to the top of the league and hopefully go up. And uh, the terms are that it's been described somewhere I've seen as an initial 28 day loan, is that correct? Yeah, at the minute it's for 28 days. I think there is an option, obviously if all parties are happy for it to be extended. Um, so it's just a case of sort of seeing where we are after 28 days. Right. There. And you're aware we've got an awful lot of games in February, are you? Yeah, I am, You've yeah. Got plenty I've, of opportunities uh, yeah, I've a, I've to get in. fixtures and yes, sort of that's a bit better for me, get more games under my belt in the month, hopefully sort of prove to people sort of I can still do it. Obviously I haven't played a lot recently. Um, feel sort of fit and sharp and ready to go. Good, good. We'll come to that shortly. Um, they say that two of the most stressful things that can happen to you in life are having a baby and changing job. And you just had both of those in a week, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, my partner gave birth Wednesday, so it's been sort of a bit of a tiring last few days, but yeah, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm ready to go. Is she home yet? Yeah, she is. She came home sort of about 10 hours after giving birth, so she's home and settled in. Right, and was that the first baby or? No, second off, second. Second. yeah, I got a three year old boy already. All right, excellent. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. Um, let's go back in time a bit then. You, you started off way back at Henley Town, is that correct? Yeah, so I was. How old were you then? Uh, 16, I was at a few academies, dropped out of there, sort of, not fell out of love of football, but I've sort of needed a fresh start. So I went to Henley, um, one of the manager, and then sort of started building my way back up. So you were and fairly young when you were playing for them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went, originally it was, I went for the youth team at Henley at 16 and then sort of worked into the first team and then went on from there. Right. And um, from then to Maidenhead, you played for quite a few teams, not all that far away from here geographically. No, no. Basingstoke and Chertsey. Yeah, and I went to Basingstoke um, and then went to Hampton, which yeah. um, sort of they sent me on a few loans to there. And then, yeah, sort of worked my way around, ended up at Maidenhead. It's right. been a, like, a very good three years there. And d have you played for Dowse at all in the... I haven't, he's tried time? signing me a few times, I've been for a few meetings with him before, but sort of it's never really worked out. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm finally sort of ready to play with him. He's always liked me, so hopefully it can work well together. Right, and uh, Maidenhead, you had a phenomenal time, didn't you? It, de it depends where you look, I've seen various different numbers, but one pair of numbers I've got is 95 goals in 141 games. Yeah, I think the three seasons in all competitions, it was sort of thing that was 23, 24 and then 46 goals. Um, so I think it's, it's different depending on if, if like you're looking at league goals or in yeah. all competitions. But right. yeah, it was, I think it's just under 100. Yeah. 100 goals I've got in three seasons. And that 46, wasn't that in 41 games? It was, uh, it was 44 in 41 league games right. and there's a few cup okay. in there. Was that the, the, the few cup ones? Does that include the one against us at, in the FA Cup? Yeah, I think loss at Maiden, yeah. which I had the <laughs> misfortune to witness. Well, good for you. Um, you then, possibly, given that you played for a lot of non-league clubs around the Surrey area and Hampshire, um, got what might be called thought of as a dream move to a league team, didn't you, to Barnet? Yeah, it all sort of all came a bit quick uh, on deadline day. Sort of, they managed to get a deal done with Maidenhead. Um, because you'd started off flying at Maidenhead. I did, yeah. Well. I scored seven in the first six in the National Prem. Um, sort of, not given up hope that a move was coming, but it sort of it looked un unlikely, obviously, seeing there was only one day to go. And Barnet came, went there, sort of thinking of my last chance to go full time, so sort of jumped at the chance. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, sort of suffered yeah. a bad injury. And the rest is history, yeah. as they say. Do you, how, how do you look back on that? Do you just are you phlegmatic about it and think, well, what will be will be? It happened, and or, or are, you, are you frustrated? Not frustrated. Obviously, it's the first time I've ever really been injured in the, all the season I've played. I've probably missed sort of three or four games a season through little knocks and bits. So it was hard to take that it was for so long. Obviously, it's been about sixteen months since I've played regularly now. Um, but I think it's made me stronger and sort of makes you look differently at things, differently at football and sort of the outside rather than just being in a bubble of full-time football. It makes you think like slightly different about obviously people 
who don't have, don't be, aren't full time, they get these injuries, how much they struggle. So it's sort of my mindset's changed slightly. Right. From it. And just to be clear, it was, you did your ACL, didn't you? Did you actually snap it or? Yeah, I tore my ACL, yeah. um, came back in pre-season, and then tore my meniscus that I've had to have oh. a, um, a, t a bit taken out. Um, and that's been, that's been fine. I've sort of been full training for about three, four months now, so right. it's all fine now. So, have you played many games in the, in the last three or four months? No, we're not. I was had a loan at Maidenhead. Um, yeah. Sort of both parties, it didn't really work out. Um, so sort of I picked up a little knock at the beginning so in my first game, so missed a couple, um, and then went, went back and they had won a couple sort of well, while I wasn't there, so I didn't get back into the team, which is fair enough. Um, and then I've just sort of been involved in sort of a handful of like behind closed door friendlies with Barnet. Right. So I've managed to be getting like 65, 70 minutes. So sort of it's and been I'm, right. I'm sure Douse, when he first told me that he was trying to get you to come, he said you'd scored two goals in a game a few days before. Is that right? Yeah, I've sort of, I've, I've scored a few in these sort of behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. So yeah, sort of, I've still got my scoring touch. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your eyes still in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, two last things. What What... Well, three actually. What sort of? How would you describe yourself as a player? What type of player are you? What do you do? What do you bring to the team? I'm busy. I like to get involved. I get stuck in. Obviously, the stats show that I can score goals. Um, sort of any type of goals. Um, so that's what I sort of like to think I'm. You, get say, the you goals say any type of goals, and I'm a big admirer of you as a as a goal scorer. Don't get me wrong, but I've watched a three and a half minute show reel of you scoring goals this afternoon. I don't think there was a single header in there. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I, I don't score many headers, um, but sort of yeah, I've scored goals from outside the box. Well, I was going to say one and one with the keeper, sort of jinking inside and hitting it early. So sort yeah. of in and around the box, and there, there, there certainly are goals from outside the box as well as lots from in the six yard yeah, box. So yeah. you uh, you seem to be pretty deadly with the old right foot, yeah. basically. Excellent. Um, are we going to have fights over penalties and free kicks now? Because you like a penalty and a free kick. Don't yeah, you? I've scored. Quite a few free kicks and penalties. Yeah. Um, I'll leave that down to Dallas to decide <laughs> who, who takes those. So, right, fair enough. And finally, um, do you do anything outside football? Have you I got don't any? know. Obviously, I've got my family, so I like to sure. spend as much time as with like with them as I can. Right, um, and of course, you are still a, a Barnet. Yeah, I'm still so. full time at Barnet. Obviously, yeah. I commute every day, so sort of I'm, I'm doing it back to sort of two half two in the afternoon. So I then sort of spend the rest of the afternoon with my family. Right. Enjoying that time. Good for you. Lovely. Uh, thanks very much for your time this evening. We both, as it happens, know that you're, by the time this comes out, the game will be over, but we know you're starting it. So all the very best tonight and for the rest of the next 28 days. Thank you very much. Wishing you loads of goals. Thank you.